Hey guys, it's MJ, the Student Actuary, and first off, I want to apologize for not making a video in so long, but I've been playing FIFA 18 and absolutely love this game. I think it's terribly addictive, um, but one thing I have found is that you can exploit the economy trading system in this game. So how the game works is you have a transfer market where you can buy players, you then buy these players and you put them in your squad, and then you can use the players to actually play um, a real FIFA game against other players over the internet. So it's quite a fun game. Um, it is dangerous in the sense that there's this thing called the store where you can actually pay real money for FIFA points and then buy the packs, which is something I refuse to do. I already paid enough on this game like just to play it. I'm not going to pay more for the FIFA points, which means I needed to come up with another way on how to get coins because you need coins in order to buy the big players. So one thing that I found, and it's, it's a very, very simple um, exploit, and that is the supply and demand of players. What happens is every Monday, um, everyone gets a bunch of packs either from the various game modes or from people who bought the gold edition. So on Mondays, the market floods with cards. So what I go do is I go and I buy the cards on Monday for cheap, 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 because think there's an excess of supply. The demand stays pretty much the same. So you buy the, the players really low, and then you spend the rest of the week and you start selling them. And you can see, these are all the players that I have just sold at the moment um, while I was at breakfast, because you can actually play this thing on your cell phone so that you are on this 24-7. Uh, but I'll show you, yeah, if we go to, um, if we go home, where's my players? How do we go to players? I think it's club. Yeah, so we, what we do is we go to players, and we look for all the various guys. So I don't want to sell my, my main team. So my main team are guys I want to keep for myself. Um, we just need to clear the transfer list, otherwise it's going to say... So you can see, these guys here, we all bought for 700 coins and we're selling them at 1,200. So almost doubling, almost doubling our, our money. Uh, but yeah, I'll show you guys how you do it. So, no, sorry, the, the UX is a little bit tricky, a um, little bit confusing. But yeah, what we would do is say there's a player like um, Skirtle. Okay, so we bought him for, for 700. What we do is we come and we list him for 750 and a buy now. And the important part is to put the buy now and not try and make it too, too high. Um, and then we click list item. We then come and we find the very next guy. We bought him for 650. And I mean, you can do, like you can compare him on the market and you can see we bought him at 650 and the market is kind of selling him at these higher prices. So what we're going to do is we come in and we list on the transfer market, start price 750, so we cannot effectively lose, and we're selling him, let's just make this one 200. If the one 200 doesn't work, then the next time you, we're listing it for one hour, the next time we just can drop that a bit, or we can just keep cycling them. Um, I mean, sometimes Morales is a Premier League player, so they, they kind of are a little bit more expensive than everybody else, and we can see, gosh, that is quite... They're asking for quite a bit for this guy. And, I mean, that's in the thousands. And this is Tuesday. This is just one day after Monday when there was the massive glut. And, I mean, we bought him for, where does it, doesn't it say where we bought him. Um, or maybe he was one of the guys that got in a pack. But, yeah, let's check this guy here. Item bought for 650. Okay, so we got him in one of our packs. Um, but look. A guy like this, 650, we list quite comfortably, 750, and then we go at 950. And they sell quite quickly. I mean, while we've just been doing this, we can come to the transfer, and we already sold a few other guys, um, although we listed him a little bit earlier. But that's the idea, is that you can actually play FIFA without playing the actual game, just by doing the whole transfer mechanisms. And then once you get enough coins, you can buy a proper player, add him to your proper squad, and actually be a little bit competitive online. But at the end of the day, that is the trick. The trick is to search the transfer market. Um, what I normally do is I go gold, I say max price 700 as my thing. So this is what I do on, say, on, a, on a Monday, 
and then I'd find the players and buy the players that are 80 and above. So you can see already now, most of, so like this guy's kind of, like he would be someone that we would possibly purchase, so we can even make a bid on him, um, and then put him back up at 750 and the 900. So you can do it a little bit more on Tuesday, but you can see the 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 opportunities are, are way less. Um, where when you come do this on a Monday, you're going to see a lot more of players that have a rating of 80 and and higher. Um, so yeah, look, this is this is actually not a bad bad little sneaky purchase. Although we can see people, we don't have the best bidding system on this. But anyway, my cell phone is ringing, and I think this video's gone on for way too long, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks, guys, so much for watching, and I will be making more actuarial videos in the future, so stay subscribed. Cheers.